There is only one place for Ichis Sinwar. It's next to Muhammad Def, next to Randur, next to Ayman Nofel, next to all the terrorists that were responsible for the 7th of October. The Israeli military spokesman Ria ADM. Daniel Hagari, in an interview with Saudi-owned Al Arabiya Television, labeled Yahya Sinwar as an arch-terrorist responsible for the October 7th terror acts. Ichya Sinwar is an archi-terrorist responsible for one of the most horrible terror acts in history, the 7th of October. There is only one place for Ichya Sinwar. It's next to Muhammad Def, next to Randur, next to Ayman Nofel, next to all the terrorists that were responsible for the 7th of October. This is the only place we are planning for Ichya Sinwar. The Palestinian militant group Hamas has appointed Yahya Sinwar, its top official in Gaza, as its new leader. Sinwar, a shadowy and influential figure who masterminded the devastating October 7th attacks in Israel, assumes leadership during one of the most turbulent periods in the group's history. Sinwar's appointment was announced by Hamas in a statement on Tuesday. The decision to elevate Sinwar, who leads Hamas's hardliners and maintains close ties with Iran, represents a significant shift within the organization's power dynamics. His new role as head of the political bureau comes in the wake of the assassination of Ismail Haniyeh, the previous leader, in what is presumed to be an Israeli strike in Tehran last week. The selection of Sinwar is seen as a direct challenge to Israel. Sinwar, known for his secretive nature and militant stance, is now at the top of Israel's kill list. Yahya Sinwar, unlike his predecessor Haniyeh, who had lived in exile in Qatar for years, has remained within Gaza's volatile confines. Since assuming the leadership of Hamas in Gaza in 2017, Sinwar has kept a low profile, but has wielded substantial influence over the group's military strategies and operations. His close association with Mohammed Daif, the head of Hamas's military wing, the Qassam Brigades, underscores his deep involvement in enhancing the group's military capabilities. Sinwar's leadership is marked by a focus on fortifying Hamas's armed wing and orchestrating sophisticated attacks against Israeli targets. His strategic insight and militant ideology have earned him a formidable reputation within the organization and among its adversaries. The announcement of Sinwar's appointment comes amidst reports that Mohammed Daif, the head of Hamas's military wing, was killed in an Israeli airstrike in July. While Israel has confirmed Daif's death, Hamas has yet to acknowledge it publicly. Daif's purported demise signifies a major blow to Hamas's military hierarchy and operational command, adding another layer of complexity to Sinwar's leadership tenure. Since the October 7th attacks, Sinwar has been in deep hiding, eluding Israeli intelligence and military efforts to locate him. Israel's subsequent campaign in Gaza has resulted in a staggering death toll among Palestinians, now nearing 40,000. The relentless bombardment and ground operations have devastated Gaza's infrastructure and created a humanitarian crisis of unprecedented proportions. As Yahya Sinwar takes the helm of Hamas, the group faces a critical juncture. With Israel intensifying its efforts to eradicate Hamas's leadership and dismantle its military network, Sinwar's leadership will undoubtedly shape the future trajectory of the Palestinian resistance and the broader geopolitical landscape in the Middle East. His appointment signals a continuation of Hamas's hardline stance and its resolve to confront Israel setting the stage for an extended and bloody conflict with far-reaching consequences.